Greetings everyone, this is Soban, of course from the Soban Network here with a special video. Oh, this is going to be the first game review that we do on the channel, uh, and hopefully one of many. Uh, so we are going to be reviewing Talisman, the Horus Heresy. Um, I'm going to just get out of this screen. But uh, what Talisman, the Horus Heresy is, it's based on the Talisman uh, board game. And it's set in one of my favorite uh, settings. It's set in the Warhammer 40k universe, and particularly the Horus Heresy era. Uh, the Horus Heresy era um, is pretty much, uh, pretty much humanity was almost united in the Great Crusade. Um, and just as the closing days of the Great Crusade, uh, the most beloved son of the Emperor, Horus, betrayed him. And brother fought brother and the entire galaxy got torn apart in this epic battle uh, and it's a personal favorite of mine that's being done f amazingly by games workshop and forge world um, and it's what i actually play with tabletop so now with that in mind does this mean i could be biased that is potentially true um i i want to i just want to say i might be biased because not be this is definitely not sponsored by anyone but it's actually i like warhammer so much uh it's been a big part of my life so i might be biased so now i got that disclaimer out i'm going to talk about things i like about the game things i don't like about the game so what's really cool about this game is it kind of plays like basic talisman you get to pick a character and you get to pick some characters from the lore um the only thing i don't like about it is there's there's an interesting amount of characters uh, but it doesn't have all the big names, and they're coming out with DLCs. As you can see on the left-hand side here, a new character pack came out recently with some characters. Um, now I'm going to show off the main characters that you can be. Uh, so you can be uh, basically a basic Praetor of different legions. Uh, you can be Gilliam, you can be Corvax, Vulcan, uh, Loken uh, from the Sons of Horus. Uh, Polax, you could be, of course, Praetor of the Traitors, uh, Angry Angron, aka Angry Run, uh, Martaren, Abaddon of the Sons of Horus, um, Conrad Kurz, uh, Kor, and of course, Herberus. Uh, so you got a good amount, and then this DLC came out. So you can be a chaplain now. You could be Furious Manus, uh, Garrow, uh, Saul T Travis, Traitor. Uh, you could be Fulgrim, you could be Porto Rabo, and of course you could be Alamaria Strait. So, characters from the Heresy. This one came out, which you could just be Sigmund, or you'd be Karn. Uh, and then this one came out. I'm gonna try, but we have uh, Night Lord Seventer. Oh, didn't want to buy that right now. Uh, this one has a Raven Guard character and uh, the Arch Mago Strike. Uh, so what I don't like is uh, a lot of the characters you can't get. Uh, I'm going to wait for these to go on sale. That's what I don't like. Um, now, I'm going to show off the gameplay a little bit. game okay so let's go here so you start off with who you want to be again you can pick different things if you want to be a praetor uh, you can change to different legions uh, in this case I'll be uh, a loyalist sons of Horus in my case the great Luna Wolves it will be Loken. Uh, you can pick an ally. Now here's like one of these broken mechanics because you get a, a equipment based off um, what legion you are. Um, so if you have an ally legion you can get some gear from that. Um, and we're gonna make this a true heresy. We're gonna fight against Abaddon, So we're going to make this the Luna Wolves against the Sons of Horus. 
So some very basic stuff. Now you start off the game, very basic. Uh, you come into the map interface. Um, it's just like Talisman, it has multiple rings. Uh, and the goal is to get to kind of the middle here. Uh, pretty much, if you're a loyalist, you must have a talisman of the Emperor, so you get these from quests. And you must defeat Horus the War Master. If you're a traitor, you have to defeat the False Emperor. Yeah, so in the battle of this, you have to either fight the Emperor or Horus. Now, it would be cool if you could be the Emperor or Horus and then play out the final battle. Now to do this, uh, to move, you just roll the dice. Uh, you can use um, your, uh, what is it? Fate points, uh, which allows you to do a reroll, and then you can pick. So you can either go to Lucius, in this case, or this Trader World. Um, let's show off combat. So we'll go here. So we have to beat the Thousand Sun Legion. Okay, so we add uh, our combat score. So they have better combat than us. So we're defeated. We can use a fate to redo the battle. And hopefully get a better score. If we win, uh, we we beat them. We get some experience points in this case, close combat. Uh, we'll roll the dice. Uh, in this case, we gain a stratagem, so we get one point in strategy. Now the other players go, so it goes from here. To, uh, Abaddon and we'll go to the Praetor. Uh, each characters have different um, kind of objectives where they start out or starting places. So So here you found some traders. He loses uh, resolve. Resolve is all right. Um, actually, we'll go over the stats a little bit. So, resolve. This is kind of your like your health, uh, fate points. Uh, this is for your rerolls. Uh, resources allows you to buy stuff. Your close combat. How well you do in close combat. Range combat and strategies. How well you do against you know. Uh, about recruiting people. So we'll travel here. Now we can investigate this. So this is an event. Uh, the fleet is Ordered by a uh, detachment of uh, Lego Custodius. Uh, during the time of the heresy, a frequently ordered company to ensure the will of the emperors followed. So, in this case, we gain a resolve because we're loyalists. And now we have to fight against this tank. So, in this case, he has range combat 6 base. I have range 2. So, I hope that he rolls a 1. Uh, because he wins, I lose a resolve. Thankfully, I just gained it. Now, what this means is the um, enemy um, can actually gain those, so they use strategy points. Is uh, that's to roll for your recruitment. We have a predator up here, which is sweet. It means we can kind of recruit it.
Oh, I'm just trying to learn to show off of this. One more mechanic. Hopefully. Uh, there are special tiles like these. Where you can gain your quest to try to gain enough points to uh, get a talisman of the Emperor. Uh, now here's an area where you can encounter multiple things. Um, See, our combat ability is not that great, so in the early game, finding those kind of hurts. So, uh, now you can fight other warlords. Uh, here's one of the special events. When you win a combat against another warlord, you can actually take some equipment. Now, if you roll the same, this is, results in a standoff, means no one wins but no one loses. Alright. So we'll just travel here. Again, I'm just trying to see if we can just show off recruitment at least. Uh, again, close combat. Sometimes the game doesn't want to cooperate. <laughs> Use a couple of my fate points. Lost another one. So, eh. so lost another battle. Now, what happens if you lose all your fate? You actually just kind of restart. So, um, what can I say about this game? Uh, it's nice, it's easy to play, easy to pick up. Um, I wish they actually had to start with all the Primarchs. Um, including Horus. Uh, and I do wish they had the Emperor. Just so you got a good selection, but they're here to make money. They do have a good amount of characters, each with their own unique abilities, which is nice. But uh, the thing I don't like is the amount of DLC. Now, there is a season pass you can get, um, but there's a lot of DLC, uh, DLC but for money grabs. So what can I say about it? I like it. It's very easy to pick up. Uh, it's the Horse Heresy, which is one of my favorite things of all time. Um, the only thing is I, I don't like paying for constant DLC. Um, it is a good price, but maybe the DLC point... Uh, might push you off. Now, uh, you can find this game on Steam. Uh, you can pick it up. Uh, you can pick up all the DLC that's currently out, uh, also on Steam, uh, in case you want to do it. Uh, so if you like Warhammer, if you like the Horus Heresy, or if you just want a basic game where you can pick up, maybe play with some friends online, or maybe a LAN party, this would be kind of good for, you know, four people. All right, everyone, I uh, hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see everyone next time on the Soban Network. Till then, bye-bye.